I get this question a lot and I just wanted to get it off my chest. Well, I didn't realize how touchy that was going to be. <laughs> oh, any more kiddos for the future or all complete? So <laughs> here's my stance on that. So, I have started dabbling in the dating life and so far I'm not liking it. And honestly, that is what happened. We got married young. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to do a Q&A. I like to do these every so often for my new viewers. I do have constant new subscribers, and so I feel like this is a way for me to connect with them. Um, and also, I'm going to dive into some juicy questions on this Q&A, some things that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. What I'm going to do is do my makeup while I talk to you. I'll share my products that I'm using. I'm not a professional makeup guru. <laughs> This is just my mom makeup routine, so I'm going to share that with you as I talk, and yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this video. So I'm going to start with this Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's just a contour palette. I found this at TJ Maxx, and I'm going to take, I usually use one of these lighter shades on the ends right here at the top, and I put that underneath my eyes because I'm a mom and I have dark circles. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and put that on and then we will get into the first question. Okay, so the first question is, other than YouTube, what do you do for money to support your babies? So YouTube is actually my full-time income. I don't just rely on AdSense. I also work with sponsors and then also affiliate marketing. Um, so I have several streams of revenue coming in through YouTube. Um, I've been very blessed with being able to stay home with my kids. YouTube has allowed me to do that and honestly if I went out to work um, I would have to put my kids in daycare and it would cost a fortune for three kids in daycare every single week and the foundation I'm using I forgot to mention is this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow um, so I'm just gonna blend that I don't even blend the stuff under my eyes until I get my foundation on and then I just blend it all at one time so as I mentioned YouTube and then I work with sponsors and also have affiliate marketing and you guys are always so kind whenever I do have sponsors I know sponsored videos can be kind of annoying sometimes especially if you're seeing a lot of them but honestly guys I try to space them out <laughs> as much as I can um, and I never promote a company that I don't truly, honestly like to you guys. So whenever I do do a sponsored video, it's because I really genuinely like the company and I think that you guys will too. Sometimes I do have sponsored videos back to back <laughs> and that's honestly just how it lands sometimes with the schedule. Um, but I try not to do that. I try to level out my sponsor versus non-sponsored videos okay the next question how well are your countertops holding with the paint on them i'm getting ready to paint mine um okay so i get asked this a lot and the truth is the ones in the kitchen we should have done one more coat of the polyurethane um just to seal it in a little bit better i think maybe in the corners it's starting to chip a little bit but we only did two coats of the poly I said polyurethane. I meant polyacrylic. <laughs> um, we need to do one more coat of that. So if you do that, I recommend at least three coats of the polyacrylic and they should hold up pretty good. Whenever I did the bathroom, I ended up doing three coats because I knew what was happening in the kitchen. Um, and it's not bad. It's just like a few places here and there I'm noticing is starting to chip away and over time it may get worse so we may go back and do a third coat in the kitchen um but other than that the counters have held up great we've not had any problems with anything and it's really a cheap and inexpensive way to update your counters if you don't have a lot of money to buy new countertops and it took literally no time to do this person says um how did you learn so much about remodeling <laughs> so I actually know nothing about remodeling. I just know what I want to happen and I do it. And I'm not a professional at it by no means. I just typically go in with a vision in my head and I get it done. I, that's the best way I can answer that question. So my foundation is done. I'm gonna take the same Anastasia palette and I'm gonna take this brown shade right here in the corner and I'm gonna contour my cheeks a little bit. I don't know. I think these brushes came from Walmart. They came in a set. There's a highlighting brush. There's an eyeshadow brush. This contour. Whatever this thing is. Anyways, so I'm going to take a little bit of this brown and just put that 
right under my cheekbones. Okay. Let's get into the next question. Any more kiddos for the future or all complete? So <laughs> here's my stance on that. So um, I have two boys and a girl, so I am content with being done. However, um, I had a lot of people ask me after I had Ray, because she was a girl, if I was gonna go ahead and get my tubes tied. Three kids, two boys and a girl, that's perfect. Um, however, because I'm 30, I didn't want to make that kind of permanent decision. Even though I'm not planning on having more kids right now, I know that one day that could typically change and um, I never know what life is going to bring upon me. And so I didn't want to make that kind of decision. So I guess you could say that I'm not planning but I'm not opposed either. If it happens, it happens. But right now, I'm not planning. Um, I do have the Marina IUD to prevent. So, um, like I said, as of right now, not planning. But I'm not opposed in the future either. The eyeshadow I'm using is just Maybelline New York. I don't even know what um, Chai Latte is the palette name. I'm going to take that mauve color right there. And I'm going to put that into my crease. And that's all I do for my eyeshadow, honestly, guys. Okay, um, you should make over your spare room and reorganize. Um, so, we have thought about that. So, that may be something we do in the future. Uh, when do you see yourself stable in your own home? Actually, um, I talked about this a couple of weeks ago. And I've talked about it before a little bit. So, what I'm doing right now is I could go ahead and move out into my own place. The funds are there. I could totally do it. Um, my car's paid off. I'm slowly paying off some debt that I have. And that's kind of the reason that I'm still here. Because when I do move out, I want to be completely debt free. And it helps my mom out as well with me being here. Because we kind of share the cost of living. We do both follow Dave Ramsey. If you're not familiar with him, he is a really really great budget guy I guess you could say um, he's the get out of debt man he gives a plan of seven baby steps and you follow those seven steps to get out of debt and one day ultimately you will have a nice savings and um, so yeah that's just kind of what we follow and we help each other because we do share the cost of living so that's why I'm still here I could move out, but it just helps both of us for me to still be here. Let's see, how is your dog Palm doing? Okay, so Palm is actually a lot better. If you follow me on Instagram, she had got sick. And we think now that it was her back. She, it was very sudden, whatever had happened to her. We had been outside playing the day before, me and the kids, and she was out there with us running around like nothing and then all of a sudden the next morning i got up and she um didn't want to go outside to potty which was unusual however it was kind of early so i figured maybe she was just still tired and lazy and so i didn't um press her to go outside i was just like okay you're still tired we'll call it later so the day rocks on and i notice that she's really weak in her back legs and she couldn't walk at all with her back legs. It's like she was trying and then she would fall over and then it eventually got where her front legs were doing the same thing. So I took her to the vet and um, they found that it was her back. Um, but she's doing completely better. She's walking around like normal. She's running. I do have to make sure she's not jumping up and down off the furniture <laughs> because I think honestly that's probably what caused it because she is a small lap dog and jumping up and down on furniture and stuff like that it's really bad for their back so i try to watch her but anyways she's doing better how are your kids sleep schedules does ray wake the boys up when she gets up at night so we all share one bedroom if you're new here my boys have bunk beds i have a bed and then ray has a bed as well and what we do is i need to figure out what the heck i'm doing with my makeup hang on so now for my eyeliner i'm using the maybelline new york master precise all day and this came with what did this come with it came with something that i bought i think it came with them this mascara that i bought but i don't use this mascara anymore i found this mascara on tiktok and this is the l'oreal telescopic it's some good stuff um 
but that's the mascara I will use and then the liner so anyways um we share a room and so it can be challenging sometimes when she wakes up through the night but honestly when she wakes up I just get her immediately so that it doesn't wake the boys and um, she nurses so we just co-sleep a lot. She doesn't really cry a whole lot so so far it's worked out really well and I know there's a lot of controversy around co-sleeping but that is just honestly what is working for me right now in this situation and yeah. Is being a good homemaker something passed down from other women in your family? Yes, I come from a family of really strong women. Um, a lot of women went through divorce and so I've watched other women in my family do this and um, honestly I think that's where my strength comes from. As far as homemaking, yes my mom is a firm believer in a clean house and home cooked meals and um, growing up I always had chores, I always had things that I was responsible for. Um, we cleaned house every single Saturday, <laughs> deep clean. But yes, to answer your question, being a good homemaker is definitely something that was passed down through my family. Hey Carrie Lynn, if you had a million dollars to donate, who would you donate to and why? I would donate to any kind of homeless shelter or any kind of food organization to help feed others. Honestly, I would probably just build a community just for homeless people. But yes, that's what I would do with my million dollars. Are you dating? Also, love your channel, love your family. Thank you. Um, so, <laughs> I have started dabbling in the dating life and so far I'm not liking it. Let me do my eyeliner really quick. <laughs> okay, so my eyeliner is done. Now for the mascara. What was my question I was on? Oh, dating. So I've started um, opening up to dating. I'm not exactly looking, but I'm not completely shutting everyone out either. I was actually seeing a guy um, a couple of months ago. I had started seeing him and I really liked him, but I think him and I were just looking for two different things. And so ultimately in the end, um, it just didn't I don't know we didn't mesh so I had to get rid of him but so the dating life is really interesting I had actually gotten on plenty of fish <laughs> a while back just to see what it was about because I've heard my girlfriends talk about it before and so I wanted to give it a try and only had the app for like a day and then I deleted it because it's like everybody that was on there was um, out for one thing and one thing only and that's just not my interest so I guess you could say that I'm not looking but I am open to dating do you still have a decent relationship with your ex and do the kids visit him much so yes they see him every other week as far as the relationship with him it's fine like we don't really communicate unless it's about the kids um, but we have an okay thing I guess you could say it's not the best but it's not the worst either I want you guys to see how good this mascara is I'm gonna do this out and then leave this one so you guys can compare the two so you see the difference <laughs> I really like this mascara so anyways as far as how often they see him they do go to his house every other week and that's how we do the custody arrangement he has a week and then I have a week with him um, and honestly like for so long this is stuff that I've not wanted to talk about on my channel because it is so easy for people to judge um, they see snippets of your life and I don't know I, I just I try to stay away from as many personal topics as I can and I know that there are a lot of you who just genuinely want to know and see me as a friend over so those that are genuinely curious about that I don't mind answering um, those questions now I'm going to put on some bronzer oh and some highlight just using the Rimmel London radiance brick I think I got this from Walmart I can't remember um, but I'm just gonna put some of that on my forehead and then under my cheekbones um, I feel like I have such a big forehead so bronzer is a must <laughs> for me <laughs> to help it appear smaller maybe okay and then really quick I'm going to throw on some highlight this is by elf and then the shade is white gold all right and then for my lips I'm using this covergirl melting pout matte 
Um, this is in the shade Current Nude, uh, number 340. I think I got this from Walmart too. So a big question that I get here on my channel is do all of my kids have the same dad? And the answer to that question is no. They do not have the same dad. Um, my boys have the same dad, but Ray has a different dad. So right after my husband and I separated last year, um, I was seeing someone and I got pregnant. <laughs> and, uh, that was a really hard thing to go through. Um, and I did announce it on my channel and then I got a lot of backlash because I wasn't telling the whole story. And honestly, I still do not feel like I owe the whole story, but because I have some of you who are genuinely here because you like me and you see me as a friend, I want to have that kind of relationship with you guys. I've chosen to tell this and I'm not gonna go into all the details because I don't want to bash anyone um there's a lot that happened in my divorce on both sides and so um you know this being the internet it's really easy to judge someone's life how you only get a few minutes of my life and you don't get all of the events that took place and everything that led up to what happened um so it's just youtube is a real bad place for judgment um and so it's not always easy to put things on the internet and I hope that you guys do understand that however I am starting up a podcast and I'm thinking really hard about sharing my story um going into more detail on there not necessarily to bash anyone but just to share my story what happened how it happened why it happened um Maybe. I'm still thinking, I'm still praying on it to see um, if I'm led to do that. But um, but to answer your question, Ray has a different dad. Now, Ray does not see her dad. Um, Ray's dad is not in her life. He never really has been, and I don't expect him to. So that's kind of the harsh reality with that. Well, I didn't realize how touchy that was going to be. <laughs> oh, it really is a sensitive topic. And that's why I don't talk about it on my channel. So whenever I got pregnant with her, my heart sank because I knew it was going to be a hard road. I was going through a divorce. Here I am pregnant and her dad's not going to be in her life. Honestly, he's just, he's young. Just like Corey, I'm not going to talk about him too much. I don't want to bash him on the internet. But anyways, um, hopefully one day he gets his stuff together. But right now I don't. I don't foresee that so this is something that I have been wanting to share for a long time and I just never really knew how to share it and it was never my intent to mislead anyone on my channel it's just that it's a really sensitive topic for me and something that I just could not bring myself to talk about not only that but when you're going through a divorce you're kind of limited on what you can talk about. Um, I honestly didn't know how I was going to go through with the pregnancy, but I did. I pressed forward because at the end of the day, it was not her fault. I wanted, I wanted to do what was right by her in the end. If you watched my video that I made following my pregnancy announcement, it's where I talked about her name. Um, and that's where her name comes from, Rayland. So, um, I was going through a storm and I saw her as the ray of sunshine at the end and so that's where her name came from and that's why i spelled it the way that i spelled it um r-a-y-l-a-n-d so and it just so happens that she is one of the best three things that has ever happened to me and i do not regret her one single bit anyways so i may talk about this more on my podcast uh, like i said i just have to think and pray and see where my heart leads me um I do have to be careful about what I share because other people are involved. But I get this question a lot and I just wanted to get it off my chest. I'll go ahead and answer some more questions. I don't want to end the video just yet. Um, I actually got a lot of good questions. Uh, do you handle divorce as good as you made it seem? And if so, how did you do it? Um, so, like I said earlier, you guys see snippets of my life and you don't actually see what goes on behind closed doors. I struggled. I the whole like last year was a blur to me. It was the darkest time of my life. Um, 
but I am on this new high and I feel good because I feel like it's finally in my past and I'm not I'm not where I was mentally and I just I feel better and um you guys didn't get to see a lot of that on camera because I do a lot of cooking and cleaning videos it's hard to see that kind of personal stuff through those videos and that's one reason I stuck to that kind of content because I didn't want to get too personal on my channel. I just wasn't in the mental state to do that, to handle the judgment. And honestly, I'm probably still going to get judgment, but oh well, who cares? Have you ever considered buying a house with your mom? Uh, yes, we've talked about it before. I don't know if we'll actually go through with it, but we have talked about it. Uh, how do you manage everything with three kids at home? You are such an inspiration. So, um, my mom helps me a lot. She's, um, she does a lot of cooking and cleaning as well. It's not just me doing it. So, um, her and I tag team and we get it done. And also we have a routine that we stick to and being on routine helps us to get it all done. Vlog every Monday and Friday. <laughs> I may vlog more. How is co-parenting going? You seem to be handling it like a rock star. Uh, co-parenting is decent with my ex-husband, um, but then like I said before, that um, Ray's dad is not in her life, so it's just me taking care of her, but um, I'm getting it done. Um, and then the boys, you know, we're co-parenting pretty well with them. Can you do an updated budget video? I've been thinking about doing that. I've been thinking about sharing like more details on how I budget and how I save and how I'm paying off debt. Kind of go into more of the Dave Ramsey plan that I do follow. Um, so I may, I may talk about that. Um, I just got to get a good idea for my video and kind of get a layout of things that I want to talk about. What is your time frame to move out? I touched on that before. Uh, why did you get divorced? Any possibility of rekindling the relationship? Um, so why did I get divorced? I'll just say that there was a lot of things that happened on both sides. We both were equally responsible for that divorce. Um, a lot of things happened and it was things that built up over the years. Neither one of us were perfect. And you know, they say if you build a house that doesn't have a sturdy foundation, then the first storm that comes is going to tear it down. And honestly, that is what happened. We got married young and and honestly, we didn't um, we didn't do things right, I guess you could say. Um, and we were very fragile and that's kind of what happened. Um, I may talk about it more, like I said on my podcast, um, but it was equal responsibility. Any possibility of rekindling the relationship, I don't foresee that. Um, once too much damage is done, too much damage is done. If you get my drift, um, I just don't see that ever happening. Do you still nurse? If so, tips on keeping up the milk supply. Um, yes, I still breastfeed. However, I'm hoping to wean her by a year. She is a really attached baby, um, in the nursing department. Well, in general, actually, but nursing, sh that's just her thing. I'm her pacifier. I'm her bottle. I'm everything. And so she, um, honestly, I don't see her weaning off at a year, but I'm going to try it. So, um, the biggest tip that I can give for you to keep your supply up is to stay hydrated and also to pump if you can, um, between feedings. And that will tell your body that you need to make more milk because your body works by demand if you're expressing more milk whether it be by feeding your baby or pumping your body is automatically going to give you more and then of course stay hydrated you can't produce milk without hydration how do you meal plan so what we do is we go buy things that are in our pantry in our fridge we typically go through the fridge every week and we see what needs to be used up and we will plan around that first and then we'll go into the freezer um, and then the pantry and we kind of just make meals based off of what we already have and we'll also find meals on Pinterest that we can use those things up with so uh, this person says have you healed from your separation prayers always thank you so 
um yes i have healed i'm feeling much better than i did this time last year this time last year i was a complete mess um but yes i've i think that i've healed let's see did i answer all of them i think i answered most everyone's questions um becca boo hey girl uh how are things going on wanting to do your own podcast so i do have plans for the podcast i got my mic in um i've just got to figure out podcasting because it's a whole new ball game <laughs> it's not like youtube so i'm gonna figure that out but i do have lots of episode ideas um so stay tuned for that i'm not sure when i will launch it i do plan to do that sooner rather than later all right so that is gonna wrap up today's q a I feel like I got really um, vulnerable here on today's video. I feel like I got really juicy on this one. Um, and it's been something that I've been wanting to share for a really long time. And it feels good to finally get it off my chest. Please keep in mind that if you don't have anything nice to say, just refrain from commenting because I'm not even going to take the time to respond to you. You will be automatically blocked um, for my channel. So, so please be kind and be nice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. I would love it if you join the YouTube family over here. I do cooking, cleaning. I've been doing some mobile home remodeling lately. So if any of that interests you, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.